Explosive Lake into gate two. Here comes Alex Berzer on Rock City Roadhog. Mays Road. Chant Me Up Baby. Two more, Weast Hill and Suspect a Storm. They're at the post. They're off. Racer and Weast Hill broke well. Mays Road and Rock City Roadhog are next, then Suspect a Storm, followed by Explosive Lake. And the early trailer is Chant Me Up Baby, and the early leader is Racer. Racer is up the backstretch. He's got a two-length lead on Explosive Lake, who's just moved through to take second. Inside of Weast Hill, who's well-placed in third and two from the front. Rock City Roadhog goes to the rail. He's fourth with about three lengths to make up. Mays Road is outside of him, and Suspect a Storm is three deep. The trailer is Chant Me Up Baby, and Racer is clear around the far turn in the ninth. No double breeder stakes. Racer has a three-length lead over Weast Hill, who is confidently handled by Joe Rock. Here is Weast Hill within two and a half of the front. Rock City Roadhog now has five lengths to make up, and Racer settles into the lead. Lane with the lead, but Weast Hill is after him now, and here's the menacing presence of Weast Hill outside of Racer. Racer to the 16th pole. He is turning away, Weast Hill. Racer is still in front. Weast Hill is not going to be able to get by him, and Racer has won the no double breeders' stakes. Wire to wire for Racer, Reese Hill, and no excuse second, Rock City, Roadhog third. Number one, Racer first. Number six, Weast Hill second. Number three, Rock City Roadhog third. And at number seven, Suspect a Storm fourth. Race 8 is official. The exacta returned $18.70. Trifecta, $20.85. Superfecta, $12.74. Pick 3, $804.55. Today's ninth race, 
will be run at six furlongs in race nine. Number seven, decision reversed is scratched. Scratch, number seven, decision reversed. Number 10, tempo seeker is scratched. Scratch, number 10, tempo seeker. Number 11, neon gator should be listed as a first time gelding. Number 11, neon gator is a first time gelding. Post time for race nine in less than 23 minutes at 512. And now returning to the winner's circle, the winner of the ninth running of the No Double Breeders Stakes Racer and jockey John Court. Racer is owned by Val Yegos and trained by Timothy Martin. Running time, one minute, 10 seconds flat. In the winner's circle to present the trophy for today's ninth running of the No Double Breeders Stakes is Dash Goff.
down with some very happy connections of this year's winner racer in the ninth edition of the no double trainer tim martin well it turned out to be the martin brother kind of daily double with your brother bill winning the down the dusty road breeders yesterday with easter indy you upsetting weast hill victoriously now racer being by leading Arkansas sire Jonesboro. Now he settled off Weast Hill in his prior races and shot to the lead today. Was that just how much horse John had or was that kind of the plan to just kind of go to the front and go on from there? Well, we didn't know if he'd make a lead, but we wanted to go out there and try to soften up Weast Hill and this horse has really been training good. He he broke like he's been training in the mornings. He'll be golfing and just jump, you know, and he left running today. <laughs> so. Well, that's certainly an understatement. He left going. Now, owned by Val, bred by Robert Yegos, a homebred or sired by Jonesboro. How amazing is this? And I, as I asked the Thiels yesterday, it's great to win a stake, but it means so much more when you breed them as well. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is, I raised this horse from day one. This, this is amazing. This is just wow. <laughs> this is so fun. This is fun. This is what we do this for. <laughs> I think you hit the nail on the head yeah. to see them grow up and to see them progress yeah. and to make it all the way to the winner circle. Absolutely, absolutely. Some very happy connections in this year's No Double Racer in front.